In this video, we've got some fertilizer spreading, we've got some more cows, we've got some more hay feeding, um, we've got a little bit of metal, more metal work, and uh, some more drone stuff. So check it out, please uh, like and subscribe to our page, and uh, yeah, it really help our, our little farm. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Milking, and the milking again. Solar the trap's filling up pretty pretty well now, so we'll get in and uh, clean it out next week. So you can see lots of solids kept behind. Runs through that screen. And then the liquid goes down in the next one. Scoop it out and put it in the bunker to dry out. I do want to get a cover on that bunker so it sort of um, it dries out a bit quicker and when it rains it doesn't get saturated again. Thank you. Just rearranging a couple of fences that I put up yesterday because uh, we've got the relief milking coming this weekend. Dad and I schedules sort of cross over, so we get get the relief milker in John. He's uh so his job is just to basically milk the cows and do any of the little chores either side, and then he sort of goes home for the day and comes back for the arvo milking and does it uh, for however long we sort of need him to, um, which is very very helpful. So we're going to bring them into this new paddock now. Um, one of the improvements we did uh, this season is uh, re-graveling laneways and um, that's made a massive difference to the, the uh, cow's feet and the traffic flow, which is basically cow traffic flow. Um, yeah, so that's been really good and we also created this concrete culvert across the creek. The creek runs over this when it comes up. So it's not going to wash it away because it's concrete. And then we've also we've crossed out over the creek here. So before, we used to run the cows from the dairy over there up a grass laneway, which would get really, really muddy in wet conditions. And then we'd bring them down here across and across into that paddock that way. So this way, we've completely refigured, or reconfigured it. And we actually go down the dairy hill, which is a good, well-drained hill. And then across that flat where we've got the new um, new laneway, up this laneway, way up. And then we can either shoot them off into this paddock, or we can send them up here to the new new paddock out there in the hills, or we can send them across the creek here. So we've sort of got a centralised laneway now, rather than having a couple of different ones, grass ones, which were ordinary quality. So we sort of beefed up the main ones, and we've got really easy access points now. We just use this... Um, bungee cord electric fencing and we just pull it over across the track whatever way we want them to go so nice and simple uh, most of our fencing is electric fencing uh the boundary fencing and any significant fences are, are sort of five wire three barb two plane just for more um, pressure on them so cows tend to sort of push up against them more and if the neighbors bulls up against them we need that barb in there um, but the rest are just powered by electric fencing. We've got an energizer at, back at the dairy. And um, so that powers most of the fencing, but wherever we need sort of extra power, we'll just bring that 12 volt electric fencing unit along just to make sure the cows aren't going to go through the fence. Because if the fence is off, they will notice. Uh, yeah, so really happy with how the quality of it and uh, the earth mover Chad Forbes, he's done a really great job on it. And um, we've got we've got a couple more small laneways finish, and then basically the whole farm will be uh, really accessible. So yeah, it made a big difference. And we've also got the other thing we thought hard about with our laneways is whether we can buffer any potential runoff um, next to the laneway. So you can see we've got gullies planted with native vegetation. We've got little creeks in here and we've sort of been planning out next to them for also for shade as well so it shades the laneway nicely so in the hot conditions they're shaded but also it's just the, these trees are going to be taking up any possible nutrient that has come off the tracks from the cow manure uh, in urine and it's going to make sure it filters it out before it leaves the farm so yeah that's the idea there and we sort of tried to make these laneways wherever there is like next to a gully so we're sort of not taking much uh, paddock space either and yeah gradually over time we'll be uh, re-vegging a lot more of the adjacent um, adjacent uh, areas 
of the laneway so that um so that we can reduce that uh, possibility of nutrient loss slightly different aspect from up here so it's one of our dams springers paddock down there lower part of the farm and then the new tree planting is just along there with the new laneway runs up here the older tree planting the new paddock and the crossing there creek crossing and then out to the new new paddocks out there so you can just see the cows behind me up there the heifers right up there working the hills so they'll need a they'll need another bale of hay today or silage today keep them going over the weekend so fridays are really for us like just um making sure all the tools are in the shed making sure all the spares are right making sure the fences are right uh, making sure everything's fed like hay in for everyone because you can sort of they'll they'll sort of get through it over the weekend they won't be hungry over the weekend um getting any silage rolled out so usually when we've got relief milker we'll pre-roll out silage in different paddocks so that the relief milker doesn't have to be driving the tractor um for silage rolling and that sort of thing and the other thing is the grain mixed and uh, the mix are full and all the feed boxes in the dairy full so that there's enough to carry over so that they don't have to do that extra job of mixing grain so um there's a bit of bit of work to it but there's a tom's here at the moment so we'll get him onto a job and dad on a job and me on a job we'll get it smashed out pretty quick um that way the weekend should run smooth and uh hopefully we won't get a phone call at six o'clock at night saying something's gone wrong and have to come a few hours home so um yeah that wouldn't be so great so yeah i think uh things are running pretty good at the moment we're not sort of irrigating which is really good uh, i was going to get the irrigation set up this week because it was looking a bit drier there last week unfortunately um, we got a few showers this week so hopefully we keep getting little showers and um and put off irrigating for a while See if they're going to go the right way today. I'm trying to, trying to figure it out. Pip, we back. We back. All right, scout. That'll do. Got Uncle Tom and Roy helping today. I'm just putting out some hay. Just in with some of this pasture because there's not a, it's not hugely thick at the moment, so we just want, want to make sure we're filling cows up. So I'll jump on the back. Hey Tom, can you just stay sort of closest to that ditch? See if there's a ditch down from the dam. You just sort of follow that up along just slowly, going too low. Yeah, ready when you are. Yeah. So these, this is a uh, paddock that's split in two. Um, yeah, on the weekend, the relief milk is going to have the cows in here through the day. So it's probably not as thick as we want it to be. So we're just topping up with a bit of hay so the cows fill up a bit. They're not going to hammer it so much. And uh, they're going to be full. We've just dropped the electric fence down. <clears throat> Pre-putting this uh, hay out. We just sort of put it next to the fence or as close off the pasture as possible because usually the cows sort of, when they're eating the hay, they sort of trample it a bit more there. But that's okay. They're only going to have one lot really this is lucin or alfalfa as uh, US people call it just sort of comes off in biscuits pretty sort of simple way to do it we don't actually do this that often but if the if the new pasture is a bit thin, we'll do it. 
Um, and then once the new pastures thicken up, they'll just have grass and, and grain in the dairy. Dogs rolling in the grass for some reason. Scratching your back, scout. Yeah, right, eh? You can turn around now. Turn around, head back to the reel. So we've got two uh, two feeds out here now, and then we'll go and give the cows some where they are today. And that will uh, finish the hay for the Friday. Um, Dad's putting out some silage. And uh, I'll go and jump on the bike and follow these guys up to the, to the cows are. Bring that bike back. See if I can nudge this gate open without wrecking it. Being a bit lazy. Okay, Tom can shut it. having Tom home, I can uh, don't have to get off track as uh, those gates. Uh, it's really nice having brother home for, you know, during COVID. He probably didn't come home for three years from Hong Kong and it's been really nice to see him a bit more often and um, yeah, have the kids play, get to know their uncle a bit more and um, yeah, it's really nice to uh, have us all together on the farm again quick stop to take these packers out from under the columns of the new shed 
because it doesn't quite have enough fall on it. So we're gonna put a bar under there and take the packers out. We're gonna loosen the nuts off first, obviously, and take the packers out of that one as well. And then we'll get a little bit more fall. So should I let the rain creep off it? I'll give you that. Yeah. Remember how to use that? Or? I think I can figure it out. Don't need to show you anything you can do. <laughs> we just loosen these. Jump it up and down on it, don't I? <laughs> we won't take them right off in case it comes off the pad. So the packages are in there. I'll just I'll just have to get a um cold chisel to get them out. Okay, that's one. Like a, a mini tripod where you can just whack it down and yeah, I know. I, I could have brought you some. I've got quite a few. Uh, oh, I do have, I do have a little clamp. I just don't carry it with me all the time. Whenever I buy like uh, lights and stuff, I always come with these. Are you good? There you go. Yeah, good. Trouble is, I'm not gonna have to hit a bit of the chemistry away. 